Shaquille O'Meal is one of the greatest athletes to come out of North Korea. Shaquille O'Meal was born March 6, 1972 inside a poor family inside Pyongyang, North Korea. Although he had the entire world against him, he was determined to get out of poverty and see outside of North Korea. Since 3 years old, Shaquille O'Meal loved the game of basketball. At the age of 17, he decided to try out for the CBA, or Chinese Basketball Association. With plenty of determination, he got a spot on the Shanghai Sharks. Now in a team, he was ready to take on the greats of China. He's going down the court, he's gonna shoot it, and he makes it at the last second! Gonna win the game. Well, give me your best, let me see, let me see, let me see your best. Oh, he's l making them look at his shoes. Well, what's going on? He, he's doing some moves, what is he doing? And he steals his hat! What? What is he doing? Everything was going great for Shaquille Oatmeal until March 13th, 1992. The Shanghai Sharks were scheduled to play against the Guangdong Tigers that night. Everything seemed normal at first. From Pyongyang, North Korea, Shaquille Oatmeal going to make a pass, and oh, Shaquille Oatmeal just blocks it. Incredible move. Let's see. Oh, and Shaquille. Oh, what has he done? Fumbled the ball. Can't believe this. What a clown. Oh, let's see. He makes a pass. Oh, can he make it in? No, he can't. Wait, can he? Yes, he does. He gets a goal. Okay, let's see. Can he Can he make it in? Nope. Can he make it in? Oh, let's see. Yes, he does. Another basket. Really good moves here from Shaquille Oatmeal. One of the best currently in the game. But then, in the fourth quarter, things got crazy. Shaquille Oatmeal got into a fight with Carlos Gloves, changing everything. Oh, let's see. Oh, is he go he's going to try to make the pass. Oh, yes, he does. Makes the goal also. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Can Shaquille Oatmeal... Yes, he does. He dunks the ball. Goat material, material right here. Okay, he caught the rebound. Let's see. Let's see. Shaquille... Oh, and he gets held down. Oh, and there's a brawl. Almost, almost a fight. That was crazy. Oh, oh, they're going back for more. Oh, they're pushing. Oh, he's gotten loose. Oh, oh, they're fighting. Oh my goodness gracious. Due to this incident, Shaquille O'Meal faced an indefinite suspension from the CBA and was hit with a fine of 1 million Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Now unemployed, he turned to a passion he had cherished since he was 10 years old, motorsports. Shaquille eagerly signed up for the BSRE Offline Series, but his debut didn't go as planned. He finished a disappointing 19th place and a lap down at Daytona International Speedway. If you will. Yeah. Jaquil Oatmeal made a strong comeback in the following race at Atlanta Motor Speedway, securing a respectable ninth place finish. Nikki Garcia, Joko Jones, Shaquille Oatmeal, and Hex Mix round out the top 10. As Shaquille Oatmeal prepared for race 3 at Darlington, he felt a surge of confidence. However, just two laps in, an unexpected incident occurred between himself and the Buma Cha Cha, altering the trajectory of his career once again. It's an inside oh, three wide back there. Oh, oh the record! Big record! 26! Oh, big oh, record! The Puma Chacha running the wall! He's gonna get hit by... I think that's Nathan Blind Glendon Baller. After the race, the Puma Chacha sat out Shaquille O'Meal for a discussion, but things escalated quickly between the two drivers. In a surprising turn, the Puma Chacha knocked out Shaquille O'Meal with a steel chair after Shaquille O'Meal pushed him. After the Buma Cha Cha knocked out Shaquille O'Meal with a steel chair, Shaquille O'Meal suffered a concussion that left him in a deep coma. With doctors unsure when he might wake up, on that fateful day, scouts from various racing leagues around the world filled the stands. But the Buma Cha Cha caught their attention for all the wrong reasons. However, tow car scout Dexter Imaging saw potential in the Buma Cha Cha and believed that if he declared for the Season 1 draft, he would be a guaranteed pick. Despite this enticing offer, the Buma Cha Cha chose to pursue a career in the WWE instead. With the Buma Cha Cha off the table, Dexter Imaging turns his sights to his second choice, Shaquille Oatmeal. Unfortunately, with Shaquille Oatmeal still in a coma, Dexter Imaging would have to wait for him to regain consciousness. This delay meant that Shaquille Oatmeal missed a deadline to declare for the Season 1 draft. Finally, on April 8, 2024, Shaquille Oatmeal woke up from his coma. 
Dexter Imaging was there, ready to seize the moment. He told Shaquille O'Meal that if he declared for the Telcar Season 2 draft, a spot in the league was guaranteed. Excited by this opportunity, Shaquille O'Meal agreed. On August 2nd, 2024, the day of the Telcar Season 2 draft, Shaquille O'Meal received a call from his agent, Lebanon James, confirming that he, was, he would be selected to race in the Telcar Split Cup Series and was drafted later that night as the number two overall pick. Yo, Shaquille, listen up, man. I've got some incredible news for you. You've been selected to race in the Tow Car Splint Cup Series. The next one will be the 47 car of Shaquille Oatmeal. Shaquille Oatmeal has competed in six races in the Tow Car Splint Cup Series, achieving an impressive four top 10 finishes, more than any other driver in the series. Additionally, he boasts a one top five finish. Currently, Shaquille O'Meal leads the point standings, holding a 10-point advantage over second place to two Masato. As the points leader, Shaquille is in a strong position as he battles for the championship title. And that, that's about it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.